Marco Polo. Marco. It says we're live, Polo. It says we're live, but. Can you find me? It, it, it's, we're not playing Where's Waldo. Oh. Sorry. But no, we never know whether or not it delays, whether it starts. So hello, 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 everybody. Hello, everybody. Hi. Oh. There it goes. I touched the buttons. He touched the buttons. I untouched the buttons. Well, hello, everybody. Why is it like every week I'm in a rush to hurry up and get showered and get sat down like two, three minutes before we go live? Hey, at least it's not after we go live. You had a little bit of time of hanging out. I did. I did. I was chatting with Jamie from Three Little Goats. She's trying to help me with my goat issue. And then also talking with Jess from Backroads Homesteading. So, yeah, just trying to take those few moments, trying to answer comments from this morning's coffee chat. And, yeah, absolutely. Oh, you like those, do you? I already noticed. Ooh. Yeah, check this out. Look at that. Is that not a cool, cool shirt? One of my merch shirts from the Casting Crowns concert finally uh, happened because, like, Many of you might know we were supposed to go to the concert, was it last month sometime, but the lead singer Mark's dad passed away. And so they had to cancel or postpone this concert. And so the the redo was last night. And oh, guys, it was amazing. I was so Wait, happy. Hold on. We have to make sure we say hi to Jan. It's amazing. simply Jan. Did, hi, didn't want to give hard. myself the trouble. <laughs> couple nights in a row. Uh-oh. You in trouble? Well, evidently, I even popped up on the live to say hi to her, but because I didn't say it in the comments, I <laughs> got in trouble. So if anyone ever sees Simply Jane Homestead, make sure you say hi to Jane. Yeah. But yeah, I've got two other shirts. Uh, he really spoiled me last night, knowing it's one of my favorite bands. And... Pretty much gave me the green ticket to get whatever I wanted. <laughs> so, yeah. Got an awesome Casting Crowns hat. Of course, my handsome man has one, too. I got this shirt, and I got two other shirts. So, I'm going to wear them next live and the live after that. Um, but, I don't know. There's one of the shirts I bought I might gift to someone special to me. Um, because it has meaning. and. I want to be that, like, I want it for myself, but it's just pressing on my heart that I need to send it to her. So I may do that. So you may only see one more Casting Crown shirt <laughs> and not this one. So hello, Treasure Hunter Neil. How you doing? Everyone's coming over from Johnny and Christine at Gillen Farms. They're yeah. giving us the love raid. Yeah. Hi there, Mama V. Oh, there's Jonesy. He's living in the future. Yes, Mama V, I need to give you a call. Because I had a comment on um, on our video that someone would like to gift you something. So I need to get some information from you so that I can be on the lookout for said gift. Uh, so, yeah, I'll be calling you soon, my dear. Absolutely. <laughs> that sounds like us sometimes. We're listening, but we're walking through lows. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So... Paul Honeyman is saying hi to everybody because he's multitasking. Yeah. yeah. And if you're new here, um, we we try not to do a whole roll call. Uh, that way it opens up opportunities for all of our subscribers and friends to ask us any questions and things like that. So what we do ask is that everyone throws up blue hearts or pink hands if you have a, a iPad or whatever that doesn't do blue hearts. Throw up your blue hearts uh and say hello to everybody in the chat and we appreciate you guys we love you guys and you're the reason why we're here so we appreciate you guys so much there's the rambling peach haven't seen her in a hot minute how you doing dear watch tall pharmacy yeah uh so right there there i'm sorry you have to see it so big we're smaller <laughs> in real life well, it depends. Is it like a whole wall system TV or is it just a little TV? 
case you know. Uh, well, thank you, Terry. And I know Big Mike's probably lurking in there. Yep, he is right there under Sergeant Talk TV. <laughs> um, I'm so proud of you guys for doing that. I really am. And, yeah. And uh, it's it's such a needed platform. Uh, you know, I just I'm I'm excited to see the direction that it goes because it's got the potential to go in some amazing, yeah. amazing, helpful ways. And and if you guys don't know or haven't heard it, like, so obviously tonight, guys, I'm here in front of you. I'm not typing. So guess what? Sergeant Talk TV is Big Mike tonight, mm -hmm. right? But we go live. Big Mike and I started this channel, Sergeant Talk TV. It's all about veterans, military affiliation of any way, shape, or form, whether you're a veteran, active duty, uh, retired, families of veterans, just anybody that has a, mili a direct military link or just supports mm -hmm. the veterans, right? Because that's a huge, huge yeah. part of the military is just supporting them. And we go on weekly and we try to have a topic of uh, discussion for, you know, for that week of something that we've experienced or something at least that we know. And then of course, we just have an amazing time with everyone coming in yeah. our chat. And so, Definitely, if you haven't checked it out, please go check that out because that is. There's Mr. Joseph Compton. A super fun time. Well, hi, Melvin. Donnie, how are you? That's a newer name I haven't seen. No, yeah. that's why I had to throw I them know. up. Welcome, guys. And casting, yes. Oh, they were amazing. That that was a super awesome, you know, and, you know, so Tara's been following Casting Crown since they started. 20 right? years. And and it says here on the hat, 20, you know, they're they're doing their 20 year tour this year, mm -hmm. uh, which is awesome, yeah. you know. And I hadn't heard of them much. There was a couple songs that they had out that I had heard before and she played them, you know. But they're they're pretty big band. Mm -hmm. And last night in the venue we were in was a small, like it almost felt like, hey, we're just sitting on the yeah. couch there well, having a were... jam session. It was so cool. And they're just so down to earth, like. You know, um, they just, I, I know I shouldn't, I've been to a lot of concerts, you know, not just Christian concerts, but you know, there's no flamboyancy about it. They just wear ordinary clothes. They, it's, it's just so personable. I don't know. It's, it was, it was beautiful. It was Lori amazing. Prepping, she's been a crazy person forever. <laughs> I know. Like, and we talked about it quite a bit this morning on our coffee chat with chickens, which is our side channel. So I won't go into all the details. But like, I didn't want it to end because, you know, being a fan for 20 years, I look forward to those, some of those original songs. And even though they did do several, they didn't do my favorite. And so I was just like, oh, surely it's an encore. It's going to be an encore. I know it is. No, it wasn't. <laughs> so we had to listen to it when we got out into the truck and watch the video for it out there. So Vase Place wants to know, who's Mama V? That is... That is our amazing friend over at Possum Run Homestead. She is just amazing. You're going to have to go check her out. If one of the mods will drop the link to Possum Run Homestead, uh, she is a single gal. She come off the road after her full-time RV lifestyle, and she is building a cabin, and she's doing it alone. So a lot of really cool stuff over at Possum Run Homestead. We've been there multiple times. We've stayed there. See, right there, she It's says. just awesome. Hmm. Yep, yep. And and not only does is what she's doing awesome, but she's an awesome person too. So that helps. <laughs> yes. Uh, artichoke pies. Interesting. I love artichoke. He's not a fan, but I am. Uh, I know uh, Missy made over at Tilted K. She made an amazing artichoke and Swiss cheese dip that Jen and I literally devoured. Just, we would have sat there the whole night just eating the whole thing. And I need to make it. I bought the stuff to make it, but I haven't, <laughs> I haven't done it yet. So Lauren and Joel said they got the glitches figured out and started our stickers. Hey, good. Hopefully awesome. we have stickers. Thank you guys so much. And if you guys haven't checked out Making It Home, you need to get over there and check them out. Yes. Uh, they are just awesome. And also, if you guys have any questions for us, put it in all caps and tag us in it uh, so that we can see that as well as um, be able to address anything like that. And and I also wanted to say, too, if you are a member, um, email me, 
so that I can email you your official White Rock royalty certificate. So please don't forget that because I love sending those out. <laughs> so her name is Verna, and so she's also a mama V, evidently. Oh, okay. Well, it's kind of like the whole Ridge Life thing because we are living on the ridge, but you know, there's Tim. So like there's this banter going back and forth between yep. us and Tim. We're little T, little R. He gets to be <laughs> capital T, capital R. But hey, Paul, how you doing? We, we'll let the secret out, guys. We know which ridge gets work done. I'm just saying. Ooh, snap. Wait, he wasn't in here. I know he's not in here to hear that. Oh, we'll let him know <laughs> later. Yes. So I was just talking and chatting with Jess over at Backroads uh, Homesteading. And yeah, she is still painting. Although we both cheered each other. She's she's uh, having her drink of choice. I'm having my drink of choice. And we just have to pretend that, you know, we're together and that we're, you know, enjoying it together. Even though my heart's there painting with her. But yeah, we're not because, you know, we it's that's probably one of the hardest things with homesteading and building the infrastructure is trying to get everything done and trying to get everything done and still want to spend time with our friends, but being like, oh, we know we got to work. And that's kind of what we did today. Uh, we're not going to spill the beans on what project we worked on today, but unfortunately it was not the YouTube studio guys. But it's a much needed. We're doing one. a YouTube studio. I know, right? Who would have thunk? No way. Yeah. Not um, with everything else we got going on. Right. You're not late, Greg and Trini. <laughs> You're just on time. Yep. You guys are just on time. And uh, hi, Lila. So she taking care of mom, mm -hmm. so she can't stay. Wanted yep. to say hi. So. Yeah, and that's like. I know I reached out. Oh, I just saw Mickey and Keith in here from Building with Mickey and Keith. I messaged her today. I was like, where did the week go? Where did it go? Because, you know, I try to be really good with messaging, but I'm not. I suck at it. I'll be the first to admit it. I suck. And, you know, but it's like, how in the world did it go from Monday no to need, Thursday? No need to be sorry, brother. We <laughs> we get it. it, it yep. Sometimes them conversations get a little. Yeah. Yeah, they do. It's It's all good, though. So Wade says, Tara, did you get my email for that Guinness chocolate cake and Irish buttercream? I did. And I was like salivating as I was reading through it. So uh, I am really looking forward to being able to really delve into tons of recipes that subscribers have sent us, that you've sent us, Wade. Um, I mean, that's, that's one thing when you're working as a partnership with your spouse is you know, you're working side by side. It's not like Jason's doing all the work and then I'm Susie homemaker and I can just do it all, you know, inside. Uh, you know, we we do work side by side. And so that that makes it a little bit more difficult to free up that time it takes to bake and cook. Although I was able, so y'all know I can make tons of different breads, tons of different breads. And I do have my sourdough starter going, so there is that. But I needed a every day sandwich bread that wasn't going to crumble or uh i needed so i played around with a recipe yesterday was it yesterday yeah it was yesterday mm -hmm. before the concert and i was actually i'm like if i'm going to be doing bread every week or twice a week it needs to be simple stupid it needs to be easy what you call me not you my oh lady. the bread <laughs> so i wanted to be able to use all-purpose flour. I wanted it to be simple. So I did, and I didn't have a recipe to go off of. I was just kind of like throwing a few of my bread recipes together. And, oh, I think I found it, y'all. I just, I threw in the flour. Like I didn't sift it. I didn't do, no. Kept it simple. It is an amazing sandwich bread. We had sandwiches today for lunch. We had uh, toasted sandwich breakfast sandwiches over a quiche infill this morning that was just amazing you liked it right i don't know what quiche is but whatever she made was really good yeah so i'm you know but it has to be something quick and it has to be something easy and that's why you know and of course i've been feeding my starter religiously 
I'm anxious to I'm gonna try say hi to Gabby, dog. Sam, and Punky. Oh, okay. are you not working a night, sweetheart? Yeah, That's they our came daughter. To visit at work. Oh, and gotcha, gotcha. You have a question. Oh, so what are you guys having for dinner? That's a really good question. Love you too, Jan. That's a really good question. Um, I we worked literally from the time we got up this morning until like an hour before our live. So it was a free for all night. I've got leftovers, so nothing grand, nothing special for tonight. I grabbed a piece of toast uh, from my jalapeno cheddar bread that I made last week, and I just put a little butter on it, and that was my supper. <laughs> I don't know what you grabbed. Did you grab any leftovers? I can't be a gourmet the whole time. Yeah, but that's that's kind of some of it, you know. I mean, fortunately, when I cook, there's who go home said, "Yep, never enough time on a homestead in yeah. the spring." When I cook, I'll always. Hi, Gabby. Quit being so bossy. <laughs> Hi, we are. Hi, um, Punky. We love you. But it always gives us leftovers, so that makes it nice. So I missed it as Tim ill. So Tim's having surgery. He's got his mm -hmm. knee surgery coming up. Um, I, I think someone had shared that earlier. It's tomorrow. So Tim at Ridge Life. So, guys, if you got thoughts and prayers out there for Tim, and yeah. So. Jennifer, is that like a, a boiled dinner? uh those are amazing i've been actually craving that uh quite a bit because you can eat it day two day three and oh mm -hmm. yum but i typically like to make a boiled dinner in the winter um i don't know there's just something warming about it but that i only caught it a little bit as it was going up in the chat i'm trying to go through you're looking at the Hi, kitchen creations babe i'm gonna have to screenshot that because i want to make sure i subscribe to her she sounds like she might have some good recipes too Huh. You can go back. Okay, my dear. Hi, David. I don't know how to screen share. It's simple, but I won't do it because it'll just really blow your mind. Yes. Let's not do that. No, let's not. But yeah, so we we worked all day long. Of course, it didn't help that we had to make a supply run midway through because, you know, everything we have here, did we have enough to finish the project? Nope. So, well, it didn't help that I changed the project midway. <laughs> Docker, wait a minute. Yeah, there's that. So that'll all be on Saturday's video. Mm -hmm. There's a sizzle in Clarissa. Yay. Hi, Clarissa. Hi, Jason. And I miss you guys. So she's, Cassie's going to actually break here. Nice. Now that you changed breads. Yeah. No, I still make that. Like, I still love all of my breads. But, um... You know, now you're making he, was, the he was not complaining because my husband doesn't complain about my cooking. He was complaining that he couldn't just make like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich without it kind of crumbling. Because, you know, some of those more fancier breads, they they kind of crumble when I'm working on that. I ain't a pro and I ain't a chef. So when I made this these two loaves yesterday, I was so impressed. But I changed it up and I did a few different things. So I was really happy about that. And it did turn out really, really good. So Kathy Walden, quiche, egg, and cheese pie with different. Uh, yes, that does sound amazing. Okay. I, kind of I just had to check my phone a minute because this message I put up here was, guys, normally for Homestead oh. Hangout, Ginger and Joey go on it, not for nothing, Homestead right after us. But they have some things going on. I just checked the group message. This is what you need to know. They're not going on right after us. Oh. So just send some thoughts and prayers their way yeah. so everything works out well. But absolutely. You'll you'll Shepherd's have a little pie. gap, yeah. I think. I don't I didn't see anything <laughs> about Paul. Us filling in. So you cracked me up, um, Paul. <laughs> He's having what that's kind of funny that that reminds me so jenna our daughter she's a donor recipient and um we named her donor cadaver steve uh we don't even know if it was female or male but whatever and when she was in the hospital we we made up this whole storyline this whole like screen right you know like if it was a movie of cadaver steve coming back to gather back all of his body parts you know and just we had to pass the time when we were in the ICU. <laughs> like, yeah. So every time we see Steve's cadaver, making, I think of cadaver Steve. Make it pancakes. You know, that's not a bad idea on a night where things get crazy. I'm not opposed for breakfast for supper. And last week's bread, I 
did some really thick slices. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Cabbage and vegetable soup. Oh, yeah. That's got to be what delicious. That's, that's kind of like boiled, what we call boiled dinner. Yeah. Yeah. Was there another? Go up on there. I saw us highlighted there. Yes. Yeah. So the crumb was too loose on for him to have his peanut butter and jellies. So uh, this bread I'm really happy with. And I, I don't have a recipe for it because, like I said, I, I just was like he, 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 throwing stuff in. Uh, I pretty much remember. What? What did you do? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah, but it worked. The, but I'm kind of the, that's kind of how I cook them. Hi, hummingbird. Hi, sweetheart. Um, I learned from my grandma, and it was a little dash of this, a little dash of that. Put that in. Oh, sure. Just about a little bit of this. I, yeah. So I, I grew up cooking like that. So I, it's hard to like nail in a an amount for sure. Um, okay. oh. I was catching up on conversations. Mike and they're just having conversations. Oh. Okay. But I needed to be a parent to this conversation. Joel Durbin. He's got lots of the member uh emojis going on how do you guys how do you guys like all those new member emojis mem, 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 member emojis <laughs> oh yep corella is coming off tomorrow thank you dot uh yeah we've all been praying for Susie. keep her in your prayers uh corella her tumor is getting removed tomorrow we are just speaking it into existence that they're going to get all of it and corella will be no more absolutely for sure um definitely appreciate all that and i know Susie does too very much so. and i want to say thank you while we're going through it because i am seeing mods you guys are you guys are amazing sharing out these channels uh, mm -hmm. for everybody because i know last week people were asking about like some of the channel chairs so um yeah i want for to sure. say thank Hi, back to you again. mods for protecting the channel and sharing the information out get yeah. it out there it's not a secret and if you guys aren't on the Coffee Chat with the Chickens channel, we had an amazing, was it yesterday? Or the, oh, it was two days ago. Uh, after the rain, we knew that the creek was going to be flowing beautifully. And so we did our coffee chat from the creek. And that was so exciting because when Ryan and Jess over at back, uh, Backwoods Homesteading, Backroads Homesteading was here, we cleared a path to get down to the creek with the side by side. And so yes, or two mornings ago, we took the side by side down and just sat down there and listened to the creek run. And it was just so beautiful. And of course, you know, we shared it with everybody where Walden was going to be built. And then we were able to like actually cross over the creek and go up into some of our other property that we've not really explored too much uh, on a side by side for sure. Well, not on a side by side. I've yeah, I've walked at this point. I I think I pretty much walked the entire thing. I'm there's missing there's about one little years. corner just kind of down over here that is really really thick. That's a little hard, but yeah, I with all the adventures that I've been on out there, I. I pretty much covered it all. Yeah, um, but it was so beautiful, guys. I so yes, uh, sorry, I clicked off that too soon. But Paul, you know, he just he's stretched, guys. He's been having some issues, so he's no. gonna say hi to everybody. But hi, um, Jesse and Lisa. Yeah, and so they're sharing, guys. And and Yay. when we're done, go show some love to my wild home. They're, they're so cool, guys. They have their own island, like. Who has their own island? They're My just, wild home does. I know. They're so cool. I love it. I yeah. love it for sure. Oh, I've actually made that once before. And it was really, really good. He has. Yeah, that was back pretty early on when we got together. Mm -hmm. It was pretty good. It's a wacky night. Yeah. Oh. Y'all are making jam. me hungry. My one piece of toast just isn't. We don't have no raspberry jam. No, but I got raspberries. Wait a minute. I know where to go get dinner. Bob and Donna. <laughs> <laughs> we need to. We need to for sure. Um, 
Yeah, I wait, I do use uh that's kind of what I did with last week's trial on my bread. Um, it's an amazing bread. It, the flavor is phenomenal. But it was a little too crumbly. So I keep it, I went ahead and I double sliced it through my slicer. And then it's in the freezer. And that I mean I pulled it out for uh French You're talking toast. about this one, the French toast. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it was so good. Cap Walden's a green. Yeah. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Yep. The thick cut. And then I also, um, the week before's bread, I had a couple slices of that left. And I made homemade croutons. Super easy again. So just trying to reduce uh, waste and utilize what we're baking, what we're making, and what we're eating, for sure. Well, Absolutely. There's our nugget haulers right there, Jamie and Kevin. Oh, hi, guys. How you doing? Who's Jake Randos44? Well, hello there. How are you? That is Julia. Hi, Julia. Nice to meet you. Because I'm not sure I've seen her name pop up before. I've seen her come up. Oh, okay. Good. Yeah, he watches it more than I do. I am a glancer. I just, yeah. yeah. But... He's probably answered this already because I'm sure I'm, you know. A few minutes behind. No, Dale. Oh, are they going on early? I don't know. I don't I'm, know. I'm sure I'll see a comment about it. Yeah, are you kind of but far if, behind? If not. I love Kath Walden. I mean, if I didn't grow up with the last name of Rocky and then having that be really super cool, I'd love it to be Walden. See, right there. She even says. Yeah, it's a great name. Yeah. Did I ever? You know what? We didn't. We didn't share what we got thrifting because I didn't, I was going to put it in a video and I forgot. Guys, I found one of the, what? I don't even know what you're talking about. It's, it, it's with the rest of the books. Uh, it's the oldest one. There's a book with other books. Yeah. So I know that uh, one day we had gone thrifting and we hit up this one spot uh the coffee chat with the chickens people they got to see the bacon press is that the one? i don't know it's the yeah. one and we were in this thrift shop it was kind of a makeshift thrift shop out of like an old uh automotive shop or whatever and a little section of books It is one of your, oh, look, it's Walden from Henry David Thoreau. And I think I paid, it says $3, but that's not what I paid for it. I'm pretty sure he only charged me a dollar. And this one, where's the date on this one? Um, so Jennifer Ocean Homestead, welcome in. By the first time seeing you in here. We're central time zone. Central, so. yeah. 1942. It's Walden. So this is actually going to go down in the cabin Walden uh, when we get that built down by the creek because, you know, there ain't going to be no television down there. And when we need a YouTube break, it ain't no YouTube down there either. But there'll be a book for Walden. But how cool. What are the chances? And we actually found, he had found Walden. We have like three versions of Walden. Because we have one where it's like short stories of Henry David Thoreau, and it includes Walden. And then you found a version of Walden. I didn't, can't remember the year on that. Did I? No, I don't think. I thought we had three. We might. And then we found this uh, one. I mean, we just, we when we find them, we buy them. <laughs> lucky. They're waiting on the grandkids to come. Oh, I know. There's Eric and Missy. Hi, guys. <laughs> It's all good, but trust that we don't even know where this week went. So oh, we totally get it. Um, how is that young man doing that was living close to you on his own property? So Jackson, that would be Jackson. Jackson is doing well. We're hoping that he will be back probably in the next two to three weeks if his plans uh, pan out. So he has been in Arizona. That's where his mom is from and where he's originally from. And he's been back there for the winter. and. He's trying to get all of the logistics worked out so that he can get moved here uh, or move back to here to his land. And we are so excited. We miss Jackson so much, but we stay in touch uh, quite frequently. 
And we're just excited to have him back on the ridge so that he can continue to build up his property. So uh, we just, we can't wait. And I've tried, you know, throwing out my salsa out there to get him a little bit quicker, but, you know, I figured bribing might help. Um, yeah. um, there you go. Pizza Rustica. No. The no, I have not. For Easter. He's going to send it to you, so Good. we'll have the recipe. Definitely. And there's Johnny coming from the cattle field. Hi, Johnny. Absolutely. So all this talk of food, y'all, just got me hungry. Hungry, hungry. Oh, look. <gasps> that is so cool. I I can definitely. What, what an awesome story to have. Thumbs up. Well, I'm showing 150 in here. Ooh. So some of y'all might be Smash. slacking a little What's, bit. What's what I say? Don't be a bum. Hit the thumb. Yeah. Can you guys hear Ellie Mae? Oh, she she. Someone's calling Jan. <laughs> yeah, I'm. Y'all, I'm failing at being a goat mom. The babies, I'm fine with. Dolly, I'm making friends with. Oh boy. Emmy Lou. Oh no. <laughs> What happened now? <laughs> um, Emmy Lou, the one with the big horns, uh, or Ellie May. I'm sorry, Ellie May is the one. The the she's the bully. She's the maker matriarch of the tribe. She's just ornery and dandy. I don't know if she's gonna give us a baby. Uh, I can't even check her because she won't let us touch her. So we've been very firm. <laughs> In our beliefs on the homestead that if an animal doesn't serve a purpose, it's got to go. So I'm I don't ask know. Ask about gorgeous. I'm sure she's talking about Jackson. <laughs> Jackson yeah, <laughs> yeah. But uh, we're not giving up yet. We are going to work. Um, there's an opera, a chance that we may downsize that flock, which was the intended purpose to begin with. Uh, we definitely wanted the babies. We got one little baby girl. And I really think that Dolly and I are friends. Like Dolly's, she's my girl. Like I really think I can milk her. Uh, Ellie Mae, I think it's going to be one of those where I just have to be tougher than Ellie Mae. And I might have to pull in him to, yeah. And I, I've never wanted to be that more uh, dominant pet owner or I can't really, or livestock owner. But I don't think it, I don't think it's going to happen. I don't yeah. think it's going to happen if, if... I can make it happen. Well, I know, but I just... I didn't want to be look that away for a little bit. No, can't do that. So, see, Jamie said that whatever Eric did, they could have just stapled it up. And I got the staple removers. Oh, where are they from? Johnstown, Pennsylvania. Happy oh, hello Easter, there. everybody. Hi, Philip. Happy Easter. Absolutely. So, we're going to keep trying. We got a couple plans. Uh, I've been working out or working with Jamie, asking some questions, and there's a lot more questions I need to ask. So, hi, Wanda. Uh, because the whole purpose of having the goats on the property is for milk. Um, I'm not a fan of goat meat uh, in a life or death situation. Yes, fine, whatever. But mm, it's just not there for me. So if if they're not producing milk for us to make butter and cheese and they're not producing anything else, we can't afford to continue to feed them. So I'm going to keep working with them. I'm not a quitter. But also from what Jamie said, like goats are, if they've not been handled and in, in, in socialized from the get-go, they typically don't change. So I'm not giving up yet. I think we can still make friends. I just got to get them to let me milk them. Because I want the goat milk, y'all. I'm tired of buying butter. Even oh. if all I get is enough for butter. Keats, they said he's shutting up shop. He's done for the day. Cold snack 30. Yes, absolutely. So I, I don't know. I mean, were we a little ambitious in getting them? Thanks yeah, for the update, probably. Joel. Joel says we're up to 146. Yay. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Uh, but you know, how do you how do you temper down your dreams? When you 
when you have a good opportunity, you take it. So one way or another, we're still going to keep I'm going. I'm telling you every week, and you guys hear it every week. She just needs oh, to go visit with Jamie. And if my husband didn't keep Jamie, I'm visit. trying to get her over there. She just said, no, <laughs> cracks that whip makes me do more projects. Well, we kind of have to get the meat birds separated from the isochicks because they're about more than double the size of the ices. And they're ugly right now. That transition from no feathers where they're just fuzzy to they are like. This is his first round with meat birds. <laughs> they are crazy, <laughs> ugly little creatures right now. Let me tell you. all And I mean, yeah. I want to be like, oh, you're cute. And I'm like, mm. yeah. they're the ones that you're like, oh, you're handsome. You know how your mom tells you when you're really not, and she's like, "You're always handsome," and really, you're not handsome. She just wants you, you to believe it. You're always handsome, though, baby. Mm. Yeah, but this is his, is his first uh, foray into meat birds, so uh, not mine, but he's getting to see it from the beginner. So, hi there, Scott and Susan. How you doing? Oh, here we go. So everyone, thanks for asking. I was cutting a fence pole, ripped a quarter size meat. Ooh, yeah. This is why we can't have nice things. Mm -hmm. I really hope that you cleaned it really, really well. Uh, I'm not there with Steri strips. I don't even know Just if pour you some a, gas in it. You're good. If you took a chunk out of it, we're gonna want to keep an eye on that. Gas so. and then duct tape. Perfect. Throw a little paper towel on it. No. See trauma no. averted i mean i'm not opposed to you know actually cayenne so, pepper will stop the bleeding so if you guys ever get cut and you need to stop the bleeding cayenne pepper works for that as well you're gonna pour pepper in it cayenne pepper isn't that hot oh, was it gonna burn yeah uh, we'll get there guys we'll oh get there. she's got y'all carterized and stuff <laughs> Yes, yes, so yes. So Lauren said that Millie was not handled for the first 18 months of her life. She's like a puppy. Which, yeah, guys, the, they've got, you know, David's got a yard goat, but no, Lauren and Joel have a yard goat. And yeah, they have a yard dog goat. But Yeah. And it's it's different, too, because Ellie May is our problem. Ellie May is the, main, you know, she's she's the one with the longest horns. and and Go get some rest, to, Paul. Thank you for showing up. We appreciate yeah. you, brother. They, you know, she kind of sets the tone for the rest of them. And, uh, but yet I think I can milk her. Like, I think Dandy, the one we think is pregnant, I've yet to touch her. She runs away. Like, no, there's, there's no, I, short of catching her and forcing her. Yeah. See, their <laughs> birds are disgusting. Yeah, they yeah. they are. They're not they're not a pretty bird, but they're a pretty neat. They're a decent meat. Um, I've done Freedom Rangers and I've done the Cornish Crosses. Mm -hmm. And sorry guys, I'm gonna stick with the Cornish Cross. See, so you talk to them nice. Pet yeah, and makes them taste gooder. I I just I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, honestly, I'm so like frustrated with Dandy and Ellie May. I could probably. Go that route? See, they know. Just drink some water, rub dirt in it. You'll be fine. Wait, you got to have the Motrin. Always get the Motrin. That's... No. No. Hey. Oh, Lord have mercy. Those Navy corpsmen said Motrin and water, and that'll stop a sucking chest wound. I'm just saying. Oh, Lord. I'm glad I wasn't a nurse in the Marines. <laughs> Well, you couldn't have been. We had Navy. Marine. Okay, then I'm glad I wasn't a, a nurse in the Navy. Yeah. Water and Motri. Elevated if it hurts. Okay. Well, mm -hmm. yeah. All right. We'll just pass on over that <laughs> one. I do keep a, I do need to restock my first aid kit because over the last year and a half, it's gotten depleted with me taking it everywhere I go. So uh definitely need to restock. Absolutely. Hi, oh, Sam Mosier. Come on. They they don't believe me either. Come on. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. See, but Sam knows. Most Go that one. one. It's still stuck way far away. Hit the arrow. I think. Yeah. There we go. Thank you, Joel. 
the four years. Yes. Jamie, we have salon pause floating out our Bahajas because they just keep sending more. And I, I love, I mean, I'm not going to tell them no, because I prefer salon pods over like lidocaine patches. And See, stuff. Xander's got it. Look, super glue originally made to close wounds. Just yeah. If yeah. it's a big wound, pour more. Well, see, that's where people get into trouble. Right. There. Is to one, you have to make sure that the wound is cleaned and closed very, very quickly. No. But it's alcohol. You would never want to like try to close a wound that has been open for longer than an hour or two. Because the body is amazing and it already starts to coagulate, already starts to regenerate. And also, it's already let in bacteria. So if you try to close that wound after the fact, all you're doing is enclosing that bacteria and causing an infection. So, mm hmm. That's Re what. Regenerate, is that? There's yes. a movie about that. Our Look, bodies the, do the regenerate, my love. Metal, and then you shot them, and then it just closed back up. Yeah, no, no, you're not going to grow a tail. Do you hear Ellie? I hear Ellie. Oh, that's Jenna, but she's going to have to wait. We're not. Why would she be calling? She's a wacko. Mm -hmm. so. Let me message her back real quick. Um, no, oh, Sammy. Good. Wife of Goat Days says, yeah, she loves Salon Paz. They actually, they work pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, yep, absolutely. So tomorrow we are going to be finishing up this project that you guys will see Saturday. And also working on a, what we're calling the Nugget Clearing. Or is it the Nugget Campsite? The Nugget Clearing. I don't it's know. where I'm gonna park the what nuggets. Do you guys think? What it's called? What do you guys think? You guys can name it. Just let just let them name it. Either the Nuggets Clearing or the Nugget Campsite. I don't know. What do you guys think? One or the other. But we have to get on that. We have to finish this project. We started today, and we have to get back on that because we have guests coming to the ridge oh. on uh, Sunday, Monday. So <laughs> no, <laughs> absolutely, and. Uh, we are so excited. Now, I, see, there's a guy that knows how it's done. Yeah, maybe. Uh, we are hosting my friend, Benet, and her husband, Eric, from up north. Uh, Benet and I were cheerleaders together in high school. She was two grades ahead of me, and I have not seen her since her graduation party 34 years ago, y'all. And they were making the trek down to Arkansas to spend some time on the ridge. And I am so over the moon excited about it. Hi, Robert. How are you? He's not feeling well. Oh, he's well. not feeling well. See, I should have looked at the message first. Look, there's I'm sorry. Words and you have to read them. Yes. So everyone keep Robert in your prayers. Um, the Lord knows the, the need there. So absolutely. There's AK Bill. Yeah. Hey there. So pee on it. <laughs> Actually, there is some truth to that, uh, but we won't go there because it's not something that I would definitely. They told us that's also how you get rid of somebody that's in shock from like dehydration. If they're lost in the desert and they've been there a while and they didn't have a lot of water, you're supposed to. Yeah. Pee on them? No. Yeah. No. You're supposed to help their core temp no. or something. No. When you're, I'm, when I'm you're talking doctor. about bodily fluids, the only. The only thing that would be of benefit, say you're you're shipwrecked, right? And you're yeah, pipe dope before the rags and no electrical. So thing. if you're shipwrecked and you are in a a dinghy or a, a rescue boat or something like that, and you're cast out to sea, and you literally have no fluids to drink because clearly you can't drink the salt water. I know this sounds horrible. But you can actually catch fish, use their blood and their secretions for an enema. Thank you, Jamie. How fun. And they're going to make all their yay. feeder bottles. And yeah. Uh, but that will actually hydrate the body. So you actually use whatever fish stuff you can find. And that will save your life. True story. Well, I won't tell you what they told us, but. Mm -hmm. Evidently, everything they told us was wrong. 
Yes. So uh, actually the best honey to put on, not a gaping wound. Yeah. We're talking, um, if it works really good as a, um, a, like a drawing sap is uh, Manaku honey. Um, that is what? the best. Yeah. It's a special honey. Uh, and actually we have wound care uh, products that we would use in the nursing field that are impregnated with that honey for wounds. What's that come from? Special bee over in the, like over somewhere. I'm not sure. sure oh, where. like special, special. Not, okay. It's, it's honey. It's made from bees and it comes from a certain place. Wow. And um, yeah, there are legit dressings that we would use. And then you can also buy it in like a salve form. And that works really, really well on um, small wounds. You better write down your suggestions here. They start coming. Look, okay. the nugget nest. The nugget nest. Oh, I like that, Richard. There's nugget stand. Nugget stand. <laughs> I like that too. Nugget the nugget coop, coop possibly. Because we got to name it. We got to have it. Another oh. vote for the nugget nest. I like that. That is cool. For sure. Yeah. The nugget camp. Okay, Eva. I like that too. Which one did? David said it sounds like a compound for terror. <laughs> <laughs> I just have all these really cool plants. Oh, maybe that's what it was. Jelly, I jelly yeah, you can, and and that's mainly because when you pee, your pee is actually sterile, kind of. You don't want to drink your own, but you're supposed to drink your buddy's because your body already flushed out all the good stuff you needed. And I, I'm just telling you what they said. Hey, if you don't want to die when you're stuck somewhere. I think it looks like it's going to be the nugget nest, y'all. See? Soldiers pee on wounds right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's more about flushing the wound than it is. Um, and if you keep good hygiene, because once it comes out, it's not sterile anymore. I mean, from the nurse. Uh, yeah. So, but if you keep your... They taught us in stuff, travel and transport school that your pee is good for something. Okay. Um, trying to think as to why. Now, see, this is why. You see, why? Dale, Rubs them dirt Derek, and gets some Jim <laughs> These, these are. That's why we're friends, guys. <laughs> yes, I like the Nugget Nest. I think I'm, I'm headed that way. Oh, there's Randall lunchbox. Thank you, Randall. That's so sweet of you. Yes. Absolutely, Sam. Yeah. I am really, really trying to identify some of those things because even as a nurse, I was very, I don't want to say anti-medicine, but working in the field, there's really no reason like a 95-year-old person needs to be taking 40 pills. Of course, I'm exaggerating. Okay, more like 20. Um, 20 pills twice a day. Why? Why? It, why it's, it's, it's cruel, honestly. Um, so if there's more natural things, because honestly, by the time we get done with all their meds, you're given this because of the side effects of this, by the side effects of that. And then you're given this to offset this. It's just, it's a nonstop cycle. So what I would always recommend, of course, I'm not a doctor. I can't be giving you medical advice. But what I would always, always, always suggest to everyone is to talk to your physician about a med reduction plan. And uh, some places call that a med vacation, anything like that. Um, so that gives an opportunity to bring it down and decrease the amount of meds that said person is on if they're not a life. So now you're on it. You're getting questions. Should I put lotion on my brain? No, no, not lotion. Well, I mean, it depends on which lotion, but typical lotion, like don't just grab a lotion and put it on the burn. No, the best thing you can do is keep it clean and covered. Mm -hmm. Don't put butter on it. Uh-uh, no butter. Oh, check out. <laughs> I ripped my picking nail off and a door I used. Be uh, propolis on it, it grew back, no problem, yeah. Yeah, um, absolutely. And I think that's what I'm most excited for is when I get my farm stand going and when we get the YouTube studio up, 
I've already been purchasing um, salve containers and jars, you know, the little jars and, you know, all that stuff. Um, and also because since we did dig it in the word with Esther, uh, Esther went for a whole year getting face treatments with castor oil and frankincense. If it worked for Esther, and it's kind of what they did back then, wouldn't it still work? Y'all, right? So uh, a little girl here needs a little bit of frankincense underneath the eyeballs. So I'm going, I've been Frank studying for that. <laughs> I've been studying all of that stuff. Um, looking at what's growing native here on our land. And well, yeah, I'm going to be having quite a bit of stuff. Southern sure. pride. So another nurse agrees with you about the number of meds. Yeah. ENT adventures. It's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. And it's almost, it is, it is almost elder abuse, honestly. Um, because especially when you have a resident or a patient who can't take meds very well. And I, it, it's just an awful flavor. <laughs> When you're crushing yeah. 20 meds together and putting them in applesauce or like, and then we expect them to eat it and, or swallow it. And it's just a cruel thing. Like, I'm sorry, there, there's a lot of splurge in the medical field. And I'll be, I mean, I know I'm a nurse. I know I'm not supposed to, you know, I'm supposed to advocate, you know, but I, I believe I need to advocate for my patient. There's so. If you want to get a natural curve cures and don't want people to know about and people would go missing if they told anyone we need to chat privately yes absolutely jennifer i 100 percent agree with you so absolutely uh black salve is that what i'm reading correctly or mm -hmm. black save oh, i'm not oh. sure now i was mm -hmm. looking i was looking at a drawing style salve made from charcoal of course, it'd be our own charcoal. No. Carburetor cleaner is good for poison ivy. Oh. I'm going to try it. Cause... No. Oh, yes, I no. am. Why wouldn't it? It dries it out. No. I'm going to try Please it. Don't Thanks, do Please don't do that. Please don't do that, y'all. No, let's not. Let's not. <laughs> uh, cold water works amazing for sure. Um, yeah. Al aloe vera is really good. Um. It's not something I would put on like an open burn, but like, yes. Um, when you're dealing with a burn that takes hi, off. James. Uh, hi, James. And look at. Wow. Cliff. Look I'm at settled. you guys. Thank you guys so much. Hopefully, does it tell us who got him? Um, up here. Well, TNT Adventures. Whoa. Rebel at Heart. Nice. Wade Root. Back to good. And Sam Oak. Nice. If you guys don't already have your certificates, email me so I can send you your official royalty certificates. Um, but back to burns. Uh, if you've got a burn that causes an open wound, just seek out a little bit of help extra. Don't try to doctor that yourself. Uh, burns expose your skin as an organ and it, your body will Yes, please just seek out a little bit. I got to be really careful because I can't be given advice. Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah. So, Mr. and Mrs. Walter Joe. The Nugget Nest. Yes, I like that. Right. I really Talk like about that, that a minute. I, need to I think the that. Nugget, I think the Nugget, the Nugget Nest is, okay. a, is a great idea. Um, I really like that. I think that's going to work out great. Oh, I did. Was that Bert? Did I see Bert's name? Nope, I miss Bert. Oh, I wasn't sure if Bert in here. I'll have to double check with her, make sure she's probably seen all right. Kelly. Revel. Uh -huh. Hi, Kelly. How you doing, sweetheart? Um, mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, but I'm I'm really looking into Robert. Get yes, feeling so. better, 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 better. Yeah. Always be better. Um, message me if you're if you're um. You know, let me know what's going on so that Bowen, I've got it's great any... to see you and your buddy. And yes, he hates crushed meds and apples. Absolutely. But yeah, let, let me know, Robert, what's going on. I might be able to help you. 
Oh, Jamie's got a frankincense goat milk lotion. Yes. Yes. And someone who was on it. Yep. Absolutely. And that's kind of what led me down that road with, with Jenna's um, spinal cord injuries is uh, needing an alternative. Because I know we talked right about, there, look at we talked about cadaver Steve. Uh, cadaver Steve, we think was oh, highly allergic to a lot of things because her, either her immune system or acquired allergies. They say it's mm. a thing. They say it's not a thing. So believe what you want. Um, that was not cool, baby. <laughs> I'm trying to multitask y'all. It's live action. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, she's, she struggles. She struggles. Cause I won't let her go on gabapentin. I won't let her go on narcotics. I won't let her go on the typical things they throw at the wall to see what sticks. So I need to find alternatives, uh, for her. And if I can help myself and help others and it's all natural, why not? Right. It's coming. It's coming. So Sam Mosier between diets and herbs gone from 17 meds down to seven. That's amazing. And that's, that's so true. Uh, you can, of course, I'm never going to tell people to do it without your doctors. Uh, can, you know, uh, consult your doctor, do your own research. Um, I can't give medical advice, but what I can tell you is research for yourself, research for yourself and you do what's right for you and, and talk with your doctor over that. So for sure. Um, yeah. So taking a fire out of a burn, I will tell you guys the most easiest way. I, I don't know about like, I suppose you could lay hands on it, Derek, if you wanted to, uh, it, it could work, but if you have a minor burn, say you touch a hot plate or you burn yourself or you get a little burn there, take mustard. And this really does work, y'all. I've done this. Um, my ex-husband's best friend's mom was an herbalist. And so she was the one that taught me this. Um, take mustard. You know, if you have a burn, pour mustard on it and leave it there. Don't wipe it off. Don't rub it in. Just lay down a bed of mustard. And let it bake it out and it bakes the burn out of course don't do it unless it's a closed burn clearly if we're talking about an open burn that's that's more serious but the mustard has a very high concentration of uh turmeric in it and mm. that will actually help to draw out the burn it does work i swear by it i've used it my whole life um since i found out lauren so, yeah. Cuffin for evans says honey on burns okay yeah yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Jewel weed is what you need for poison ivy. I'll have to look at that. Definitely we'll have to look at that. Arlene Leslie. I'm not sure I've seen her in here before, but here in Arkansas, we have tons of herbs and plants that work wonderfully for all kinds of problems. I love my wild lettuce and oak. Yes. Um, I actually have an app that I paid for, which I never paid for apps, but it's actually called Picture This. I'm not getting anything it from is. it, but it's really cool. Black sap is a drawing Yeah, sap. it's a drawing sap. Um but I can take my phone and snap a picture of whatever it is that, that I need or that I'm looking at and it identifies the plant. And then it's able to tell me like I can add it to my garden. And so it's, it's a really cool app. I'm loving it. I'm finding, I went out the other day and he was like, I thought you were right behind me. And I'm like, well, I was, <laughs> I was till I wasn't. Um, because I started identifying and looking at everything that's growing, even in the foundation that's out there. Uh, I was super happy and actually dug up cause he's like, why do you have a shovel? <laughs> cause, cause I was digging up wild garlic. I didn't need not to tell me what that was, but I had a snack. I was out there chewing it up and it's a, it's a great little tool to use. It's not, I mean, I've had it be wrong, so it's, it's not a fail safe thing. So definitely uh, know what you're picking, but it's a great app. I don't even, I mean, I didn't get it for free, but it is whatever. Well, hi, Laura. How you doing? How you doing? Yeah. So Christine's got that same app. Yes. Yeah, so throw that back up on Michigan Life. So Michigan Life goes live every Friday night. So if you guys haven't checked them out, slide on over to Michigan Life above the 45th Parallel. 
join them for their Friday night. I guess, yeah. Well, they're not going every Friday. They're like every other Friday or something right now. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, definitely. And if one of the mods can drop that link. Yeah, 39 meds down to five. That's crazy. That's crazy. Um, I'm proud of you. Good oh, for you. All right, so we're in an hour. Oh, um, wow. We are. I don't know where it went. So, guys, what I was multitasking with oh. is because Joey and Ginger can't go live, we're going to jump back over to Gillum Farms and pull up those of us who are available for the huh. Homestead Hangout up on panel. Um, is so, that what we're doing? Yep. It's on him. <laughs> it, it was, you know, I know. You were, like, cleaning up stuff. your mess and so eating we, a party foul. We thank you guys for being here tonight. Yeah, and thank you guys. Love that every one of you came in. Um, I know my naming. wild home is on, but also, guys, we're gonna go over and have a chat with a homestead hangout. Thank over. you so much for uh, naming the Nugget Nest. I love it, guys. Thank yeah. you so much. We appreciate all of you. So, we will see you guys over on the other side. Bye, guys. Go on now. Nope, not gonna do it. They're still just talking away, just doing. <laughs> all right. Go on now. Get on out of here. Get. Yeah.